Hi, in this video I'll cover how to use action buttons to help in your presentation. So what I mean by action buttons, basically action buttons are buttons or icons that you can press to help you navigate or provide some kind of action within your presentation or slideshow. So for example, if we had this in a kiosk, uh, this particular slide is in a kiosk, maybe it's a touch type kiosk where you can touch the screen to advance or uh, go back. These arrows are, provide the action to do that. You know, this arrow goes forward one slide, uh, this one goes back one slide. If you want to go back to the beginning, you can press this home icon, it'll take you back to the beginning of the slide. And you notice there's also sound that is associated with uh, each of these action buttons. Now you don't have to necessarily need the sound in there, but uh, that's an option that you can provide. And there's other options that you can also provide, but I'll mainly cover kind of navigation and sound in this particular video. So let's see how we get to do that. So we're back here in our slide deck, and this is without the action buttons. Let's say, for example, that I'm, I'm on a slide and I want to put some action buttons together. And so basically what you need to do is you can either go through the shapes and go down here and click the action buttons, or if you're in the home tab uh, under the drawing group, you also have that option to select the action buttons. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a couple of these action buttons. You can see if you hover over them, it will kind of give you an explanation of what each action button um, represents. You know, we have uh, back and forth, we have to the beginning, we have to the end, this is the uh, the home button, we have an information button, uh, this one goes back to, it goes return, this one's for a video movie, uh, this one may open up a document, uh, you can have it open up a document within the window. And there's a couple here, it's not a lot, but it just kind of gives you some navigation or some uh, actions to provide. So I'm just going to cover uh, going uh, back one slide, going forward one slide, and going through the home button. So let's see how we would put some together. Let's say we have this action button here. I'm going to put it down here for now. I can use the shift key to kind of uh, constrain the uh, aspect of it, make it a square. And so once you uh, once you click and kind of release your mouse button, the action button uh, I, uh, window will come up. So this basically already kind of selects what the action button does. You can change it if you want. You can have it go none, uh, but that's not the that's not what you want with this button. We wanted to go to the previous slide, back one slide. Or we can all, you can also see you can have it run a program, run a macro, uh, perform some action, and play some sound. Um, this is when you click it. So there's an option to click it. Now what I can do is I can say, okay, let's play some sound. If we go back, maybe we'll go back and it, it'll go it'll go click, and you click OK. And if I go into the slideshow view or the reading pane, let me go into the reading pane. It makes it a little easier. If I click it, see it, it gone back. It went back one slide, and you can hear that click sound. Let me go out of this reading pane view. Let me go back into the slideshow. I mean the normal view. So that's how you do it. And basically, what you can also do is we can insert another one. So if we go to insert. We go to insert, let's go forward one slide, and we're going to go forward one slide. Let me go ahead and press the shift button to kind of constrain it into a nice little square. And it also comes up with the action setting, and uh, we can click it to uh, go to the next, uh, well this is selected for the next slide, it's already selected for us. So we can change it if we wanted to, but that's not the point of this one. Uh, you'll notice that, uh, I'll go into another example where maybe we already have an image or an object in there, and we want to create an action for it, and I'll cover that a little bit later in this video. And maybe in this, this particular sound, we can have it also click too, and click OK. And then let's do the home button. Let's go ahead and put a home button in there. And this will take us back to the first slide. So I'm going to go and press Shift and just kind of draw it out. It's going to draw it onto the perfect square. Let me go ahead. And this, was, and this is already selected to the first slide. So we'll go to the first slide here. And so maybe for the home button, I'll do a, like a whoosh sound. Oh, there's a lot of other sounds here. I'll do a whoosh sound, like, like uh, take me back home. The wind will take me back home or something like that. So let me go ahead and just kind of align, align this up all together. Let me select everything here and go under Format and go under a line, and let's just have it distribute horizontally. So it kind of ni it's spaced nicely, nicely together. Now, if I put this into a slideshow view, you'll notice that it's only for this slide, right? And so you may think, oh, do I have to put it for every single slide, one by one, maybe just copy and paste everything? No, not necessarily. You don't have to like, select everything. You know, put Control-C to copy, and then Control-V to paste. You don't need to do that if you wanted to have this on every slide. If you wanted to have this on every slide, all you need to do is go into the Slide Master. Let me go ahead and uh, select this. Control C to copy. Let me go into the Slide Master. And that you can go under View and go under Slide Master. And this is basically the template uh, for, the, for your slides. So if you wanted to kind of have a template, 
and uh, have specific uh, kind of formatting for different slides. And maybe this is a title slide, this is a outline slide, this is a segue slide or section header slide. You can do that. But we want to apply those particular actions to all the slides. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the main slide here, the Flow Slide Master. You can see that if you hover over it, it tell you what these slides are. And basically, um, that's a title slide, this is a title and content slide. We want to put it into the Flow Slide Master. So I'm going to go ahead and Control V to paste. So depending on where you place these action slides, you have to be kind of aware of maybe there's pictures over here. You, you want to put it in a place where, where your slides won't have images or text that will be obscured by it or it will be covered by it. And so uh, maybe I'll put this one up here, way over here to the top left. So now you should see that it kind of shows up everywhere. So if I close this master view, you'll notice that now it shows up everywhere. So I don't need this one anymore. I'm going to go ahead and select this one and delete it and go into the slideshow mode. And now I have it with me. I can, if I have this in the kiosk with a touch screen, people can go and kind of go forward and you can hear the click as they go forward and go back one slide. If they want to go back to the first slide, they can just click this home button. It will take them back to the home slide. So that's kind of the, the action buttons that you can get on the drop down. Now, as I mentioned before, you don't necessarily need to use those shape drop down action buttons that are kind of defined already. You can actually already provide actions on objects, mostly pictures or some other objects that you have on your slide presentation. So let me give you an example of, of how that works. Let's say that I'm in this particular slide and if I hover over this picture, I want to have some sound. And so you can provide an action to that. And so what we need to do is we would go under insert and under the links group, there is an action command. So if I click on that, you'll see this familiar action settings window. So let's say for example, if I click on that, I want to play a sound. So the sound may be, maybe the audience clapping. So let's see if there's an audience clapping. This is, this, these are the sounds that are provided uh, in PowerPoint. And so let me see if there is clapping. Oh, there's applause. So I'll use the applause here. Click OK. And that's for the mouse click. So if I've, I'm in presentation mode and I click on that image, it will provide clapping. Let me try another one um, that will use the other option. Let's see for this one. Let's say for this last slide, I'm going to set an action and maybe they approve. So maybe there's some kind of um, uh, approval. Uh, let's go ahead and scroll down, scroll down. And let me see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's try the. Uh, we have two applauses. Well, that was probably the, the wave sound that came out earlier. We'll try the, the camera. These, these, these people are posing for a camera. There's a camera here, and so let's say there's a, there's a click sound, all right? So let's go back into the uh, presentation view. Let me go ahead and go into slideshow view. Now you can notice that the, this is still here. If I go under, if I click home, it's there. I go forward, and if I kind of click in here now, And you should have heard that applause. So if I if I go into the last slide, let me go to this last slide. And you hear that clicking sound. Let me go ahead and see how this works. Let me go ahead and click it. Uh, you can see that there's a there's a, there's a pseudo snapshot film film shutter sound. Uh, I think uh, that was just when I click it. You can also have an action where you hover over it. Like I had mentioned earlier, there's another tab in there. If I go ahead and just unselect that, click on mouse over. And let's give it a different sound. That, that, that shutter sound seemed a little bit soft, so maybe I can uh, do it where it's a cash register. Maybe they're, they're approving something and it's going to make the company a lot of money. Let's go ahead and click OK. This is slide six. I'll just go ahead and select stay on there and go into slideshow view. Now I'm going to, I'm going to hover over it. I'm not going to click and I'm just going to hover over it. Now you can notice that sound of the slide. So if I hover over it, you see it. Not, I'm not clicking, but so you can see that we can have different options to uh, trigger that action. You can either uh, click on the object or you can hover <coughs> over it. In this case, hovering over it will initiate that sound or you can have it initiate another action. So that's kind of a brief overview of the action commands. You can see that there's a couple of things you can do. I mean, when you select on an, an object, an, action, an image, you can go to actions. There's a couple of things you can do on click or on mouse over. Uh, basically, either click or mouse over 
And pretty much the, the options to do it are, are, are the same between both of them. And you can do none, which is default. You can hyperlink to somewhere. Uh, you can run a program, run a macro, uh, perform some action, play a sound, uh, or highlight the click. So there's a couple things you can do. It just provides a layer of interactivity. If you've got this slide in a kiosk, or if you want to have a bunch of slides, you want to get some navigation items in there for you to uh, navigate to and from different slides. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.